dearest, sweetest, most cherishable honey bunnies in all the universe. It's me, Joni here, and happy fall, y'all. <laughs> and <laughs> spooky season is just around the corner, is it not? And that you know what that means. There's going to be lots of candy, lots of costumes, skeletons, ghouls, and of course, my personal favorite, all the Halloween-themed ASMRs you can think of. But before we get into that, there is something that you need to know. Something big is going to be happening to me, and I will let you know what happens on Saturday. I will make an announcement, and things are going to be okay. But y'all wanted a part two to this, so I'd, I'm giving you what you want. So I'm not going to spoil it, so let's, without further ado, let's begin. Enjoy this Chaggy X Child Listener ASMR part two. Also, how many of y'all are excited for Spooky Month? <laughs> I know I am. Oh, look at you, sweet pea. You make the cutest little bellhop. Oh, you're so freaking cute. Charlie, don't... <laughs> do that. They're not a kid, you know. I know that, but oh, my poor baby's growing up and helping with the hotel. My cry. Babe, breathe. It's their first day on the job. You know what to do, sweet pea? And what does Alistair always say? That's right. You're never fully dressed without a smile. And if anyone gives you any trouble, you can come straight to me or ma Mama, okay? Okay. Give them hell, honey. You're gonna do great. Oh, and here comes our first patron now. Make him feel welcome, sweet pea. Come on, Charlie. Let's go get the, the room set up. Okay. Husk, Angel, can you keep an eye on Sweet Pea for us, please? And don't worry about it. I'd rather not do this. Aw, oh, come on, Whiskers. It's just a kid. Call me Whiskers again and I'll shove a bottle right down your throat. Ooh, is that a threat or a promise? Hey, 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 no horny in front of our kid. Oh, boo, Vaggy. I mean it, Dust. Ooh. Oh, kitty's got claws. Kid's doing great. Don't you think, Husk? They've got their mother's attitude and the other mother's resilience. But, Husk, I can't help but feel like, I don't know, like maybe Charlie and Vaggy need more help with the hotel. You know what I mean? It's just, <sighs> working for Val ain't exactly ch cherries, cupcakes, and rainbows. I just want something to use in my free time, you know? I mean, I am technically a patron here at this hotel. So maybe I should help out a little more. You know, help Nifty clean and stuff. If I want for chuckle fuck over there. I do hope you are not referring to me, Angel Dust. Jeez. How many times do I gotta tell you, Al? You can't do that shit. Oh, I can do whatever I will please, my darling. Aw, you called me darling. Don't get a big head. That's good. Do you think that Sweet Pea might need some help? 
They're not exactly, well, menacing. And that kid's gonna be fine. They're just the... If anything, Nifty will stab the eye out of them because they're bad boys. Ugh, don't remind me of that, Huska. Oh, look at that. They're showing them to their room. Good job, Sweepy. You know, Al, Charlie and Vaggy are the only ones that are allowed to call him Sweepy. Oh, you're right. So, honey lamb, how are you doing? Honey lamb doesn't work for you. Well, we can think of something else, my dear. How about venison? <laughs> oh, don't be silly. If I were to eat you, I would have done so already. But I would never eat someone as cute as you, sweet pea. And especially not if Charlie and Vagatha will, uh, you know, attack me. And not to mention Lucifer. I really, really, really don't want to deal with that short stack right now. So, how was your first patron? I see you served him up with a smile. That's good, you know. Well, lunch will be ready soon, darling. Nifty, dear. <laughs> yes, Alistair. Be a good dear and help, n help Sweet Pea get ready for lunch, please. Oh, right away. Come on, Sweet Pea. I have lots of cute ideas for an outfit for you. Now let's not scare them, Nifty. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Am I being a lot? Some people can say I be I'm being a lot. <laughs> oh, hi, sweet pea. How was your first patron? Oh, wasn't that great? Yeah, well, some people can be a little rude. But that doesn't mean they don't have good in them. Think of Serpentius. He sacrificed himself for this hotel. And... Chews me up inside, to be honest, but... He did it for good. And I think that's a well redeemable quality if you think about it so just remember everyone has something good deep down inside them okay okay lunch will be ready soon okay nifty can you get sweet pea ready for lunch please i was already gonna do that okay we'll see you in a bit sweet pea Oh, Maggie, I'm so proud of them. They're working so hard to make the, this hotel better. They got my enthusiasm and your good looks. <laughs> I'm flattered, babe, but... Don't you feel like we're pushing Sweepy a little too hard? I mean, they're barely a, a teenager. And... <sighs> I just don't want to feel like I'm rushing them, okay? They're a good kid, and no one should ever take advantage of that, but <sighs> boy, can it be hard. I get what you mean, Vaggy. But we're doing the best we can for them. That's all that matters. And they don't seem to be unhappy with us. Just give it a chance, Vaggy. I know things will be better. You really think so? I know so. Mm. Now let's hurry up and get lunch ready before Angel starts screaming at the top of his lungs. Yeah, or he tries fucking everything in sight. Vaggy! 
what? I mean, is it, am I wrong? He's changed. Not that much. I mean, yes, he's been a good role model for Sweepy, but that just still doesn't excuse the fact that he's, uh, how do I say this without being offensive? Promiscuous. I know what you mean, but at least he's not enforcing himself on Sweepy. That's all we can ask for. Taste this. Needs a little more spice to me. You think everything needs a little more spice. Eh, what can I say? I like things hot. Or, as your dad says, I like my women to like, like how I like my food. Hot. <laughs> You're so corny. <laughs> okay. Lunch is ready. Oh, you didn't break the pasta, did you? <laughs> no, Angel, I did not break the pasta. Good, because that's a sin in itself. Makes my skin crawl just by thinking of it. I still say we should have had jambalaya. Al, we had jambalaya yesterday. And not to be mean, but I don't want my poor sweet pea's face to blow up like it almost did yesterday. Oh, come on. It wasn't that bad. Their face turned redder than a tomato because you put not only the spiciest peppers in all of hell, but you put, put some new oil in it, too. Eh, what can I say? When life gives you lemons, throw freeze them, and throw them hard at people to make them suffer. They're a kid, Alistair. They need to learn to toughen up a bit. Help out. I shoved my foot so far up your ah, baggy. Sorry. Sorry. It's just, you know how I get with Sweet Pea. I know. Don't you look adorable? What did the patrons say? They're not coming down, huh? Oh well, you can't force them. Now go wash up for di for lunch, okay? We love you, sweepy. <laughs> oh, that was adorable. That was pure adorableness. But let me know how I did because I tried getting everyone's voices in here, but that didn't exactly work out very well. As you can see, I made some <laughs> funny jokes, but let me know how I did because I don't know if I did that great. But... Leave a note in the comments about what you want to hear from me next. I'm recommending some Halloween-themed ASMRs. We're, we're still working on the Stryker and Verasica series. Consider them to be promised in October, hopefully. Uh, join my Discord. We're going to be... We're going to have a bunch of fun there once the, the news gets spread on the Saturday. Uh, follow the channel's Instagram and, and Twitter. Uh, follow me on my Instagram and Twitter if you want to follow me there. Post a lot of stuff. And uh, let me know how I did because I don't know. Anyways, this was fun, but now I gotta leave. So as always, stay beautiful and stay safe. This is Joni saying bye bye to you, all my bloody sweet cherishable honey bunnies. Mwah! I love ya. And almost happy spooky season. Now if you'll excuse me, I have brownies in the oven, so bye bye.